The battlefield of the future will look radically different than those of the past. Autonomous systems and artificial intelligence are set to revolutionize warfare, taking over many of the mundane yet dangerous tasks currently performed by human soldiers. From reconnaissance drones scanning miles of terrain to four-legged robots trotting alongside infantry units, machines are increasingly at the forefront of military operations. These technologies allow soldiers to focus on the critical thinking and decision-making that only humans can provide while avoiding putting them directly in harm's way. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, have become indispensable for surveillance and information gathering. The RQ-4A Global Hawk, for example, can fly at over 60,000 feet for 35 hours straight, monitoring enemy movements across huge swaths of territory. Smaller drones like the FQM-151 Pointer can be easily launched by hand, providing tactical support for platoon-level operations. UAVs are the eyes in the skies, but unmanned ground vehicles, or UGVs, handle key roles closer to the Earth. Robots like the Talon and Packbot navigate rugged terrain on tank-like treads, carrying supplies through war zones or scoping out buildings for potential ambushes. Their mechanical arms can also safely handle live explosives, eliminating one of the most lethal threats facing troops on the ground. But what if these robots could interact directly with civilians as well? Small humanoid robots are being tested to converse with local populations, potentially reducing misunderstandings or diffusing tensions. It's a lot less confrontational when a robot instead of an armed soldier shows up at your doorstep asking questions. Researchers are even exploring the potential of robotic swarms. Large groups of simple robots working together as a coordinated unit like ants or bees do in nature. These could carry out attacks from multiple angles or swarm and overcome heavy defenses through sheer numbers. While robots handle the dirty work, human performance is also getting a boost from cyborg-like enhancements. Powered exoskeletons, similar to the suit worn by Iron Man, lend troops Herculean strength, allowing them to haul hundreds of pounds with minimal effort. This relieves physical burdens while keeping vital human oversight and control in the loop. Neural implants are also providing a mental edge, integrating augmented reality displays or computer-assisted decision-making. Sensors could feed commanders real-time data on troop positions and status, while AI systems game out optimal strategies and warn of potential dangers. The risk of information overload is ever-present, however, and human intuition still reigns supreme. These technologies generate obvious tactical advantages. But how far should we integrate machines into military units? Could we see cyborg war dogs with implanted cameras, and weapons alongside each infantry squad, or soldiers fitted with infrared vision, heightened situational awareness, and direct brain-computer interfaces to control drones and artillery strikes. The possibilities are endless, and perhaps alarming. As technological innovation races ahead, we must thoughtfully consider the implications and assess the wisdom of rapidly escalating autonomous capabilities in warfare. There are those, however, who feel the genie is already out of the bottle, and that progress cannot be stopped, only temporarily delayed. For better or worse, the battlefield of tomorrow will likely be increasingly populated by its artificial inhabitants. Of course, it's not just advanced technology aiding soldiers. Some of the military's most trusted partners still come with fur and four legs. Dogs have long been used for their keen sense of smell and hearing, patrolling bases and tracking down explosives or illegal substances. Their loyalty and obedience makes them ideal guards to have roaming perimeter fences after dark. And man's best friend may soon get an upgrade as well. Canine companions could one day have augmented reality goggles or wearable cameras feeding handlers real-time data. Their brain signals might even be remotely monitored, providing early warnings if a dog detects something amiss. Cyborg war dogs fitted with non-lethal weapons would be a mobile smart sensor platform unlike any other. 
More exotic animal allies are still firmly in the research domain. Although brain-computer interfaces have allowed pilots to fly simulated aircraft just by thinking of what maneuvers they'd like to perform. Monkeys fitted with neural implants have learned to control robotic limbs through thought alone. What if we could develop biotechnologies allowing human commanders to seize direct mental control over swarms of drones or platoons of fire-breathing war machines? Such capabilities may seem fantastical, but the building blocks are already under development in laboratories around the world. Of course, most military analysts think it's still essential to keep humans in the decision-making loop rather than handing full control over to Skynet. But creative integration of human and machine capabilities could give us strategists the raw computing power of IBM's deep blue chess grandmaster, with far beyond normal capacities for absorbing information and analyzing multiple courses of action. Advanced simulations and wargaming scenarios powered by artificial intelligence can also enable rapid evaluation of countless alternatives freeing up precious brain power for intuitive thinking. Software assistants may recommend options, handle data fusion from myriad sensors, and monitor events happening all over the globe. But responsibility for judgment calls and handling the fog of war would remain firmly with personnel. Or so we hope. Because autonomous systems can also operate at blistering speeds, it's enticing to unleash their potential by enabling them to execute attack plans without waiting for human approval. Pentagon documentation suggests such capabilities are already under development, allowing swarms of unmanned vehicles to cooperatively identify and engage emerging targets instead of relying on time-delayed communication back channels to human supervisors. Proponents argue the rules of engagement and targeting parameters could be predefined to ensure lethal actions align with the intent of commanders. But could reliance on autonomous destructive capacity spiral out of control? Might it blur accountability or lead to accidental escalations? Could a robot truly exercise common sense, compassion, and reasoned judgment in battle? Yet we must take care with autonomous weapon systems and lethal algorithms. Letting machines make life and death decisions crosses a moral threshold that many experts believe should stay with humans. Groups like the UN Institute for Disarmament Research consider it imperative to ensure meaningful human control and judgment over lethal actions. Preset oversight may fail. What if a killer robot goes rogue? Could we contain it? Scientists warn advanced AI could one day outpace humans and spin out of control. While complete restriction seems unrealistic now, responsible voices urgently call for enhanced safety protocols and ethical guardrails to guide military AI while we still govern its trajectory. The trend will accelerate, ceding more human tasks to machines. Commanders will broker intricate collaboration between increasingly powerful AIs, augmented soldiers, and expanding weapons systems. This amalgam promises to reshape warfare in both awe-inspiring and terrifying ways, leading to battlefields bearing little resemblance to the proxy fights familiar from history.